Hey everyone, it's me Curtis and in today's video I have another fish video to bring you guys. Today I'm going to be discussing and giving you guys six of what I believe are some of the best tank mates um, for your common or comet goldfish. So I decided to make this video because a few things to keep in mind are that common and common goldfish get very very large therefore they're going to need a lot of space um, preferably a pond when they are fully grown so if you get just a bunch of those to live with each other that's going to be a lot of space that you need but i decided to make this video for anyone who possibly wants to just get a very large aquarium and have one big fish with a few smaller fish in it to save space the next thing is that because they actually get so large they can potentially eat some of the tank mates that you purchase so I try to get some that were not too expensive on this list. The last thing before we get into the list to consider is that these goldfish are single fin and they are very very fast so instead of being like fancy the little short like fancy goldfish or blackmore goldfish or any of those smaller varieties of goldfish these single tailed goldfish are very fast and very fast moving so they will they can eat a lot of food very very quickly rather than having a fancy goldfish with let's say a common goldfish so that's why that won't be on this list but I've compiled this list to try and consider all three of these things and I hope that this list is helpful for anyone who is trying to find some tank weights to live with their big goldfish. So one of the most um, recommended fish to live with goldfish are white cloud minnows and this is because not only are they relatively easily accessible they're not that expensive and they also prefer colder waters so I don't want to say you can replace but let's say they were to be eaten you can get more and just have like a stable population so that is why white cloud minnows are really recommended to live with bigger varieties of goldfish the second fish is a zebra danio um, and I have made a video about this I'm not sure if that video will be up by the time this video is but if it is you guys can just check that out up here Oh, how did I mess that up? <laughs> you guys need to check that video out up here, yes. <laughs> to learn some facts about them, but just in short, they do make great tank mates for goldfish because they are fast moving and they also prefer colder water. The third fish on this list is the rosy barb, and I don't have that much to say about this fish, other than, again, they're not too expensive, they are a very peaceful fish, and they get along, they have gotten along well with goldfish. <laughs> The fourth fish on this list is going to be the loach. That is because this fish gets too big to really be a predator of a goldfish. So that is why I added it on this list. And also it is a good fish to have just to like kind of clean up the tank because as you know, goldfish are extremely messy and dirty. Now I never said this list is going to be only compiled of fish, which is why the fifth um, animal on this list is going to be freshwater snails. Now again, like loaches, these can be very, really, very really good at maintaining and kind of cleaning and cycling your tank. Just remember though, these animals are going to be producing weight just like every other living thing in your tank. So don't go overboard, also because a lot of times these snails end up breeding and you have more than you know what to do with. But mystery and narrate snails do make great tank mates for fish. So the last and sixth fifth... Fix, uh... So the last and sixth... So the last and sixth fish on this list is going to be the rosy red or fathead minnow. So minnows in general, if you know anything about minnows, are very fast moving and can usually dodge predators and this particular minnow is very cheap and you can buy a lot of them for a very good price. So if you want to start off with something and you kind of don't want to buy expensive or more fancy fish, you can test these fish out to see how your goldfish reacts to them, see if he wants to eat them or pick at them or anything like that before you try some of the others on this list. However, like I said, these are very um, accessible and inexpensive. So if you want a good fish to, to kind of start up as a tank mate for your large goldfish, then this is the perfect fish for you. That is it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of agreed with this list. Let me know if you guys have any common goldfish, common goldfish, any species of large fish that live with smaller fish and your experiences down below in the comment section of this video. But if you did like today's video, make sure that you subscribe to make sure that you do not miss any more of my future content just like today's and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I post a lot of frequent pictures, posts and updates about my pets before they hit my YouTube channel which are just at Curtis Hussain. I also run my own Etsy shop where I sell and supply pet supplies for rodents, reptiles, bugs and more so if you want to check that out the link to that is always in the descriptions of all of my videos. But until next time I hope you guys enjoyed today's video like I said and I hope to see you all in the next one.